Once upon a time, there was a man who dressed in a bear costume. Desperate for food and water, having recently escaped prison, he was forced to hide in plain sight. He had been quite successful, stringing together five break-ins without revealing his identity, but this man-bear had quickly become the talk of the town. The news had even reached the owners of a local private zoo. This is where our story begins. We're not some big corporation, okay? Like, I don't like cages as much as you, but aren't houses just like cages? Or property lines? Or borders? Sit. I don't even pay my employees. Okay, it's just me. Because I don't like when a lot of people make a lot of money off of animals. And so I just keep it all for myself because I can trust myself to do the right thing. I mean, don't you understand? I understand. It's about what's best for the animals. We've had some reports of a feral beast ravishing the area, wondering if you knew anything about the little bastard. The bear went that way. Huzzah! There's a bear that needs us, baby! Huzzah! Huzzah! I love you so fucking much right now! Drive! Channel 5 News would like to remind you that a dangerous grizzly bear roams our streets. I'm Todd Glassworth, and this is Channel 5 News. Stay back! S Stay back! Don't come closer! I swear to God, I'll use this! Hello? Did you just say something? Yeah. Do you want to kill me? No, I don't want to kill you. How can you speak? Uh, because I am a very special bear, Remy. How do you know my name? Okay, someone's here. Please help. You need to believe me. Please help. You need to believe me. Please help. You need to believe me. Please help. Uh, Ma'am, we've received a tip that there might be an undomesticated grizzly bear hunting in this area, and we've heard reports of screams coming from this property. Nothing to report here. Kitchen fire. It doesn't smell like a kitchen fire. Who are you? Bill. Up. We're with the local zoo, ma'am. We're gonna have to take a look around the place. And... Fuck. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
How's it going, Karen? Good to see you again. Please uh, take a seat. Hello. Didn't have a good go of it this time, huh? What? Life, Karen. Life, you fucked it up. Why'd you do that? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm just uh, dealing with Karen, judging her, so I'll be with you in a minute. She killed me. Yeah, pretty crazy. Actually, can we get a replay on that? Cool. All right, Karen, you got a couple of options here. First, new soul or keep the old one? Where's Bill? I don't know, he killed me. All right, Karen, I gotta be honest with you here. You need to speed it up. Old soul. New soul? Probably for the best. Now, right or left? Left. All right, just for gags, you wanna see what the other one was? Sure. All right. Ooh, British royalty. Damn, too bad you didn't pick that one. Well, what does the other one say? You will be the newest baby bear in your old zoo. Whoa, 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 whoa. How you been, Playa? Yeah, oh. I'm pretty good. I mean, you saw. So I saw, I saw. Better than the pretty... last time. Oof. Better than the last that time. The last time. I did not know it was bad. The cherry pie. What was the one before that? And now, a message from last season's fan favorite from the hit reality television show, Isle of Love. I want to take a minute for love with that old boy. I wrote a poem. A love poem. Straight from the heart, it's all you need to know. Roy, here we go. She was my Targman, who you were, a sound lass, a real class bird. No other geezer done it better, but I'm a mug, mate, a bit of half fool. Ah, I like that. We need more time for real love, don't we? Each love affair they sing about is pretty much the same. Remember how smooth that was? You weren't smooth. Please. I was so smooth. I just felt bad for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> My romance was different from the rest. We met one rainy afternoon. Why wasn't it like this all the time? You know what? You mean to me? You fucking little bitch! Are you kidding me right now? She didn't even say. We're pretty good at that. I guess. You posted this for my birthday. You look beautiful. This is the worst fucking film I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Okay, I'll take it down when I'm done eating. Now, just take it down now. You lied to me. You lied to me. Shut up. You actually lied to my face. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking Taurus. You fucking piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. You lied to me. You lied to me. No. We're never going to work out, are we? Hell no. <laughs> God, I was such a dick. <laughs> yeah. You really could be. Give me your fucking phone. Stick out of my goddamn business. Give me your phone. Let me see your phone then. This isn't about my phone. <laughs> it on the Don't act like you weren't too. Well, well but the aid of only in response to you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> a look, a smile. Hi, I'm General Fungi, 
and I suffer from genital fungi. If you or a loved one suffers from genital fungi, you may be legally entitled to sexual favors from the food of Mother Earth. Come down to the general and get what you deserve. Yum. Ugh. All right, you guys can take our seats. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, no longer want to be soulmates. This is uh, your last one. Don't want another replay? I'm sure. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure. All right. Siblings it is! Whoa, 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 whoa.